Hi Lachlan, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Lachlan, I'm a SCADA and Control Systems Engineer here at ACE. I've come from a background of designing solar powered infrastructure. Uh, Lachlan, can you tell us why do you want to join ACE? I wanted to join ACE because I wanted to grow as an engineer, in particular in SCADA and Control Systems Engineering. They've got experienced engineers who are more than happy to help me learn and to grow and they've got some good training courses as well that I've been able to go through and learn and, and upskill. What do you think about the ACE work environment? The ACE work environment is good. There's this transparency from a graduate all the way through to those experienced engineers. They're more than happy to help teach and grow the younger staff members here at ACE. Uh, tell us about your career goal for the next five to ten years. So my career goal for the next five to ten years is to really be I guess, a solid team member um, so that no matter where I'm placed I'll be able to not only succeed but help others succeed as well. Lachlan, what do you think your career goal would have a long-term impact to our clients and communities? Having that core and fundamental strength in, in control systems and SCADA will enable me to provide a, a solid solution that will meet their requirements, not just for now, but also in what their future requirements might be. And through that, be able to provide a, a control system or a, a SCADA solution that the client will be able to use and rely upon. And that, of course, has a huge impact on the environment and on other people as well, the, the general populace um, of, of WA in Australia, uh, to be able to rely upon their utility. What do you think about A's mentoring program? The mentor program so far has been good. We've been going through the fundamental and essential SCADA and control system uh, software that are used in industry as well as configuring some hardware. So we really have a good grasp of what's being used in the industry now. And from that, we've been going through actual projects that have been implemented in the field and having a go at them ourselves, really learning how to implement these projects in a real life situation. How important for yourself is to be able to to become organized and be able to get the job done on time. So being organized is to always take that step back to begin with and say, okay, this is the whole project timeline from, from start to finish. This is what we're, we're trying to achieve. Okay, well, to achieve that goal, I need to implement this, 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 and this. And then you break it apart and you, and you, you work through to, to achieve each of those solutions to, to fill your, your full requirement at the end. What's your understanding of work ethic? Work ethic is important. We need to be able to design a solution and implement that solution as quickly and efficiently as possible for our clients, especially for our industry. Often clients are reliant upon their control system to actually operate. Without their control system or their SCADA solution, they can't do what they need to do. And that only happens if you have a good work ethic. The people here have a great work ethic. Everyone's at their desk doing their work. There's no distractions at the office. We do grow as a team. We do help each other out as a team. We will have community building experience. Attention to detail comes with a, a good work ethic. Your work ethic is low. You, things are gonna fall through holes. You miss the details that are very important. My experience with work ethic and quality, I've been involved a lot with the tendering stage here at ACE. To go through with a fine tooth and comb to make sure that you know what we're agreeing to, we can actually deliver. and deliver well. Uh, we don't want to provide low quality solutions. We want to be the best of the best. We want to provide that quality solution that meets all of their requirements. So that's, that's been my job here. And of course, with, with tenders and, and contracts, you're agreeing to something that, that's written down. And if you don't pay attention to details, you can agree to something you might not be able to deliver. So it's very, very important to, to have those fine details in check. What is your understanding on the engineering ethic? The engineering ethic is very important for us to be ethically minded. We need to know what we're implementing is ethically sound, and especially with more recent technology, especially in the robotics and automation sort of field, there can be a bit of a blurred line. So it's very important for us to actually take a step back and look and say, okay, when implementing this technology, what are the effects on the community, the environment, and the operators as well? It comes down to the engineer's kind of personal belief. A lot of people can push through things that aren't necessarily ethically sound. And there are laws, of course, that we have to adhere to Australian standards to ensure that there's, all the safety is met. As we, as we go through and we, we kind of breach the, the boundaries of this new technology and, and its implementation, we'll have to constantly reassess, is this an ethical step to take? I think that's an, an ongoing situation. 
In terms of what we do here at ACE, I think safety first is of highest importance. Um, we're, we're dealing with power substations, um, power utilities, as well as water. And so delivering safe power to our clients and to their customers is of highest importance. It can be a very dangerous area to be in. Same with the water utility as well. We want to be able to provide clean drinking water to, to all Australians. So I think putting safety first is the highest thing that we, we have to do. Our audience, fellow engineers, clients, and followers, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you do, please like, comment, and follow us so that you will be uh, kept updated with our future videos. Thank you.